in the previous class we were discussing about the the problems on we were discuss in the previous class we were discussing the problems on the linear equations and we solved some problems on linear equations also today also we can solve some more problems on the linear equations in word problems also we can solve in this class the question is here first let us understand the questions given and we can solve some questions based on the linear equations and solve the problems okay now the question given is here that the denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 8 the denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 8 the numerator is increased by 17 and the denominator is decreased by 1 the number obtained is 3 by 2 find the rational number sir. Huh. Sir, yes, I now look, sir. okay now the we will consider the number now let the numerator of rational number be x denominator it will become x plus 8 a rational number is it is of the form p by q numerator and denominator will be there let us let numerator of rational number be x numerator of numerator of rational number be let the numerator of rational number be x what will get here y value denominator what we are getting here denominator getting 8 is there what they have given on condition relation between numerator and denominator denominator will become x plus 8 rational number equal to x denominator it will become x plus 8 denominator of rational number it will become x plus 8 because denominator is 8 more than numerator that's why if numerator is x denominator it will become x plus 8 now what is that rational number now therefore rational number is x divided by rational number equal to Numerator divided by denominator. X divided by x plus 8. That is the required rational number. Now they have given one more condition for this one. First condition is what? Denominator is 8 more than numerator. That is the first condition. Second case they have given. What is the second condition? If the numerator is increased by 17 and decreased by denominator is decreased by 1. By given conditions, what is that? Numerator is increased by 17, x plus 17. Denominator is decreased by 1, decrease means minus x plus 8 minus 1. Now, what is the new denominator? New number, it will be equivalent to 3 by 2. It will become equal to 3 by 2. Find this rational number. That is the second condition. Now, understand here, there is a rational number. Rational number means it should have the numerator and denominator. P by Q form. That is rational number. And first condition they have given is that denominator is 8 more than numerator. Denominator is 8 more than numerator means denominator is x, x plus 8. Numerator is x means denominator will become x plus 8. And rational number is numerator by denominator x by x plus 8. They have given two conditions. The second condition is the numerator added by 17, denominator subtracted by 1, its value will become 3 by 2. If it becomes a 3 by 2, find the rational number. That is the question. Now, using these two conditions, we can solve this problem.
What you can solve here? First, we will simplify this equation, second equation, and find the solution of this equation. Okay? What we are getting here? Cross multiply this one. Second equation is here, na? Cross multiply this, simplify. Two into bracket, numerator. Three into bracket, this is denominator. What is here? That will become two into bracket. X plus seventeen. Three into bracket. Eight minus one is seven. X plus seven. That is the question. Now go on simplifying this one and find the value. What we are getting here? Two into x is two x. Seventeen two zero thirty four. Three x three seven zero. 21. Now, shift these numbers one side, constant numbers other side. What are we getting here? 2x minus 3x. Shift the constant number other side. What is here? 21 minus 34. 2x minus 3x. That is minus 1x. Minus 1x means minus x. 21 minus 34. What is that value? 34 minus 21. What is here? 13 minus 13. Because sign behind the bigger number is minus. Therefore, answer is minus 13. This is also minus. This is also minus. If you multiply throughout by minus one, both will become plus. X equal to 13. That is the x value. Now we should find the rational number. Rational number is numerator and denominator. Find here. Understood? We should find the numerator and denominator of rational number. Now we have got only the numerator. We have got only the numerator. X equal to thirteen. Okay? X equal to thirteen is the numerator. What is the denominator? X plus eight. X plus eight means how much? Thirteen plus eight. Therefore, rational number is. X divided by x plus eight. X divided by x plus eight. Thirteen divided by thirteen plus eight. That is thirteen divided by twenty-one. Thirteen divided by twenty-one is the required rational number. Okay. First, what is question? One rational number is there such that its denominator is more eight more than the numerator. That's why. Denominator will become x plus a. Numerator is x. Now, in this case, rational number is numerator by denominator. X by x plus a. Well, second condition, one more condition. The high one. If numerator is increased by seventeen, increase means plus. We are going to addition. Denominator is decreased means it is minus one. Decreased by one, minus one. Then its value will become three by two. We should simplify this one by cross multiplication. Denominator into numerator. Numerator into denominator. We should cross multiply and simplify this one. We are getting x equal to 13. X equal to 13 is 13. That is numerator. Using this one, we can find the denominator. X by x plus 8. 13 by 13 plus 8. 13 plus 8 is 21. Okay. Therefore, required rational number is 13 by. Okay. In this chapter, you have learned about the. Linear equations. I will revise this chapter once again and summarize this. What is here?
linear equations linear equation means equation of a line that is called a linear equation now what is here we were solving some linear equations solving means finding the values of x and y finding the variable values of variables now what is a linear equation an equation whose highest power of variable is 1 that is linear equations okay finding the solution means solving x for x values now they have given in some exercises they have given some applied questions applied questions means word problems they have given we will give, convert those given conditions into linear equations we will get that linear equations then we will solve the x and variable values that is the solution of linear equation means finding the values of variables according to suitable conditions given in the question now here in this chapter we will solve some mini problems in this one now solution of linear equations how will you solve this one for example x minus 2 equal to 7 is there this is very simple linear equation solve this linear equations how to solve this one solving means transferring this numbers one side keeping the variables other side that is shifting the numbers that method is called transposition transposition means we will shift this numbers right side keep the variables on the left side okay here minus 2 will become plus 2 that side minus 2 will become plus 2 that side what will become here x equal to 7 will keep as same minus 2 will become plus 2 7 plus 2 x will become 9 x equal to 9 is there now that is the solution of linear equations x equal to 9 is the solution of linear equations how to verify this one we should simplify this value substitute this value and equal this whether it will satisfy the equation or not what will happen here x minus 2 it means verification or to check how will you check this one x minus 2 it means 9 minus 2 equal to 7 7 equal to 7 if rhs equal to become lhs then our answer is x equal to 9 is correct this is the way to solve a linear equation and to check whether our answer is correct or not understood this is the solving linear equations and verifying or checking the solution of linear equation already we have solved in the previous classes this one to solve a linear equation and to verify this one okay and next classes we solved some word problems which are reducing to the simple linear equations for example they will give you complicated questions and we should reduce to the simple linear equations and solve the problems okay in that cases what i have done here x minus 2 for example x minus 2 minus 1 by 5 x by 2 minus 1 by 5 x by 2 minus 1 by 5 x x by 3 plus 1 by 4 x by 3 plus 1 by 4 this is very simple linear equation this is complicated they have got fractions first we should reduce to the simplest form like this then find the solution first thing is they are giving very simple linear equations we are solving it directly we are finding the answers but here they have given some complicated equations we will reduce to the simplest form and solve the x values x value variable is there now x values we should find it 
what we are doing here first variable terms we are taking one side x by 2 x by 3 we will take one side x by 2 plus it become minus minus x by 3 equal to 1 by 4 minus it become plus plus 1 by 5 like this variable terms left side constant terms right side we are taking just go on simplifying 1 by 1 Here denominators are there, no? We should take LCM of denominators. LCM of two and three. Two and three is six. LCM of four and five. Four and five is twenty. Because four and five are in different table. Four five is twenty. What is here we are getting? LCM of two and three is six. Therefore denominator is Six, two three sa three we are multiplying three two sa two we are multiplying three into x is three x two into x is two x equal to denominator LCM value is twenty because both are in different table four five sa twenty four five sa twenty five four sa twenty five into one is five plus four into one is four. What are we getting here? X by six equal to nine by twenty. Two x minus two, three x minus two x is x. X by six equal to nine by twenty. I'll simply this is six on that side. Denominator will become numerator. Division will become multiplication. Into six it will become there. That is x equal to nine by twenty. Nine by twenty into six. Two three is a two ten is a nine three is a twenty seven. Twenty seven by ten. That is x value. Twenty seven by ten is the solution of linear equations. Like this, complicated linear equations are there. Now we are reducing to the simplest form. What is here? This is complicated linear equation. We are reducing to the simplest form here. Okay, we will shift the numbers one by one this side. What is your first? We are shifting variable terms one side, constant numbers one side. We are taking LCM of denominator. LCM of denominator we are taking and simplifying here. Denominator will shift away. It will become multiplication. Okay, division will become multiplication. Multiply and cancel the. Numbers simplest form is twenty seven by ten. Twenty seven by ten is the simplest form of the given linear equations. Okay, and um, we solved some many questions like this. We solved uh, many such questions like this and find the answers. Okay. Now, just I am revising some problems on. This linear equations, and more than this one, we solve some word problems also. We solve some word problems, writing the word problems in the terms of linear equations, then solving them like this. We can solve some some more questions. We can solve our question here. N by two. N by two minus three n by two. N by two minus three n by four. 
10 by 2 minus 3n by 4 plus 5n by 6 5n by 6 equal to 21 equal to 21 now what is here n by 2 minus 3n by 4 plus 5n by 6 equal to 21 is there now in this one all terms are on left side all terms are on left side therefore no need to shift the terms what is the first step here we should take the denominator of LCM of denominators LCM of 2, 4, 6 what is LCM of 2, 4, 6 the highest number is 6 in a 6 table 6 to are 12 12 is in our table 12 is in 2 table 4 table and 6 table Therefore, LCM of 2, 4, 6 equal to 12. LCM of 2, 4, 6 is 12. What should we get here? Find this LCM. 2, 6 are 12. 4, 3 are 12. 6, 2 are 12. Okay? Now, what you are doing here? 6 into n. 6m. 3 3 is a 9 minus 9m. 2 5 is a 10 plus 10m. Equal to 21. Division divided by 12 will become into 12 this side. Okay? Shift to that side. Shift the numbers that side. What will you get here? Now what is this answer? 6 plus 10. 16. 16 minus 9. What we are getting here? 16 minus 9 is what is answer? 16 minus 9, 7. 16 minus 9 is 7n. 7n equal to 21 into 12. Also it is 7 that side. Okay? n equal to 21 into 12 divided by 7. Multiplication will become division here. 7 1s are 7 3s are. 12 3s are 36. n equal to 36 is the answer. Like this, in the previous classes, we have solved many questions, many examples. Like this, we solved some questions. In the same way, they will give us some complicated equations like this. First, even the fractions are there, we should know the addition and subtraction of the fractions. Then only we can solve these equations like this. To add and subtract fractions, we are doing addition and subtraction. First step is to take LCM, LCM of denominators, LCM of 2, 4, 6 is 12. LCM of 2, 4, 6 is 12. First, we will find this LCM, multiply the corresponding numbers to the denominator. 2, 6 are 12. So that we can get numerator value. LCM value. 2, 6 are 12. 4, 3 are 12. 6, 2 are 12. Like that. Multiply this again. 6 into n is 6 n. 3, 3 are 9 n. 5, 2 are 10. 10 n. Now, we are these positive numbers and subtract and negative numbers. 6 plus 10. 16. Minus 9 is 7. 16 minus 9 is 7. 7 here. Divided by 12, it will become into 12 this side. Division will become multiplication by 16. Now, multiplication will become division. Divided by 7, it will become here. Division will become multiplication. Multiplication will become division this side. Just to cancel the numbers by 7 table and solve the answers. Okay, this is the way to solve some linear problems and find the solution of these problems. Okay.